Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today, I don't know why I'm talking quiet. Same story. It's like every time I'm in the woods, I'm talking quiet. It's just habit. But today, Nick and I, do you see him down there? We are in West Virginia in the Dolly Sods Wilderness Area and we are going backpacking. So we are geared up for the night. I love backpacking so much. Like backpack hunting is my absolute favorite thing. It's not hunting season. So just backpacking will do. And this is our first time exploring this area. I am so freaking excited. It's gonna be awesome. We just found blueberries. So this area that we're in is known for having a ton of bear. I honestly don't know like what the hunting stats on it. I just know like whenever I was researching places to come backpack, this place, like one of the notes was like, you know, hide your food, do the proper things because there are tons of bear. So now that we're here and like able to explore, I would love to look into what it would be like to hunt one here. I mean, there were black, there was a blackberry bush, or not a, there was like a sea of blackberry bushes back there that are just unripened. Those will ripen like at the end of summer. And now we found all of these blueberries. It's like this place is just like perfect habitat for a bear. It's mountainous, a ton of thick cover, sweet stuff, rocks to den under, trees to climb up in. If I was a bear, I'd live here. There are some that aren't ripe yet, so we might be a little bit early, but that's a, a nice little snack for later. I'm super excited. I don't know why that makes me so happy. <laughs> we hiked back far enough and now, finally, we have gotten off the trail and we are kind of doing our own thing. It's a little bit tough because we don't have a GPS so we have to be like careful where we go to make sure that we'll know how to get back. This is the fun part. This is like, you know, the cool, true exploration. So we've already seen three doe, well, two doe, one fawn, and then just squirrels and birds. No bear sign yet, although we've been looking. in some blueberries. Um, I just want to show you guys how my sleeping pad goes in to my sleeping bag because it's seriously the greatest invention probably ever. This guy goes down to 15, but the best part about it, it has a waterproof, like durable bottom to it. So you take your sleeping pad, sleeping bag, and then this just goes right in here. So this just shimmies on, just like that. And I know this probably isn't the best shot, but it slides in super easy. And then it has a little lip that goes over the top. See how that little, that little lip comes over? And then that is it. So you see, here I'm gonna back up so you can see it. It's all, all in one. Once Nick gets his stuff in here, then, then we'll be all set. We're gonna make a fire, collect some firewood, because where you saw Nick collecting firewood earlier, we ended up switching spots. So he did all that work for nothing, I kind of feel bad, but I mean, this is just absolutely breathtaking, and the sunset was beautiful. We took some cool photos, but I'll pop those in now, but so far, so good. I'm excited for you guys to see what we're cooking for dinner. Clearly, we've got the fire going. I am going to get dinner started. So I apologize if I look like I'm like telling a scary story because <laughs> of the lighting. This is Whitetail from Pennsylvania. We're having venison tacos. And on a normal backcountry, trip, I would absolutely not recommend packing in meat like this, but 
this is just a fun trip for Nick and I. We're just backpacking for the hell of it to explore this area, you know, to scout it out, to have fun. So, you know, packing in a little extra weight is not a big deal. It's not like we're, you know, spending days upon days or whatever. I also have taco seasoning. This is just McCormick, best stuff ever in terms of convenience and some aluminum foil. So I'm gonna like mix the seasoning in with the meat, wrap it into the aluminum foil, and then throw it on some hot coals. So I just broke this guy open. I'm gonna start by pouring a little bit of him out, like just onto the aluminum foil itself. I'm just gonna cut a little hole, drain, you know, what I can, and then get this guy going. So I'm gonna take half of this, throw that in there. And then we'll do the other half because I have two pieces of aluminum foil. So that can sit there. Grab my trusty dusty fork. And I'm just gonna start laying this in there, being really sure not to puncture the aluminum. I'm gonna go ahead and coat this with another little sprinkle. That is the finished product for mixing. So I obviously have way more aluminum foil than I even need, but it's good to have too much than not enough. So we'll wrap that guy up. Want to do the honors? Just daydream with me and imagine it is November 3rd. I don't actually know what the seasons are here because I've never hunted in West Virginia. But imagine, we've just killed a beautiful white tail and we're here sleeping on this mountain, but I'm not mixing up white tail tacos. <laughs> we're just slapping a piece of backstrap over the fire. That'd be cool. We pulled this guy off of the fire um, after maybe 15 minutes, would you say? Probably about 15 minutes, just to peep. So I'm gonna peep. Hopefully it's done. It smells so good. Ooh. Oh, that looks done. Oh my goodness. That is just ground beef taco seasoning deliciousness. It's not beef. <laughs> that is just white tail deliciousness. So we brought little flour tortillas. And then I want to make this so you can see just how Good, this looks. That's good. But I wish so badly I like cheese and sour cream and lettuce and tomato. But I think we are freaking genius for doing this. <laughs> this is a great idea. Well, good morning, you two. Ended up sleeping in a little bit. It was pretty windy and we set the tent up in a open spot which in hindsight wasn't the best idea but I think we were just I don't know too excited. <laughs> I used this guy just my puffy jacket as a pillow which is awesome and I'll show you once I actually like get up I'll show you how I folded it up because if you don't fold it the right way it's gonna like slip and slide out from under you so I'll show you. So it's interesting because these jackets fold into their pocket as like storage for packability, but I find with the women's jackets, it's not quite like big enough for a pillow for me, the way that I like a pillow to be. So the back of the jacket's facing away from you, take the hood and flip the hood inside out, and then you pack the jacket into, oh, into the hood you know, just lay right on this, and it's like, it's an excellent. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Cheers. It's like 
the best breakfast on a mountain. just got back to the truck. Overall, we found a lot of sign, a lot of food, a lot of cover, a lot of water. It's like this place would just be heaven to be a bear or a deer or any kind of critter really. We saw four doe, a fawn and a buck, I think. Something like that, like five or six deer. No bear, but Nick did find some bear sign, some scat, which is good. And we obviously found lots of blueberries. <laughs> Probably sick of me talking about the blueberries. Spots like this, this is so special. And this is not everywhere. And the fact that, you know, we are preserving and protecting places like this for hunters, for anglers, for outdoor recreationists, um, for the health of our planet, it's pretty freaking cool. We are from like the Pittsburgh area. That's where we live part of the year at least. And it's like right smack dab in the middle between Allegheny National Forest and the Monongahela National Forest. So those spots are very much appreciated. Okay, YouTube, well, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Share this video with someone who you think would appreciate it and comment below with what your favorite national forest is. I wanna keep exploring them, so Leave me those comments and I will see you guys in the next video.